What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out which is the greatest WWE finisher of all time. Um, for me personally, if I just think off the top of my head, the Stone Cold Stunner is one of my. It's one of the greatest ones. Stone Cold Stunner, um, Tombstone, Power Driver from The Undertaker, um, The Rock Bottom, fantastic finisher. Um, I want to say what's another good one and i want to uh, i want to i guess come up with somebody from like the newer generation of wrestlers i like the um the running knee by daniel bryan that's a good one running knee by daniel bryan the gts by uh cm punk that's another good one um and of course a spear you can't go wrong with spear even though everyone does the spear i think when goldberg was hitting his spears uh they were just so impactful so those are the ones i could think off top but we're gonna check this list out i'm pretty sure they're gonna have the ones i just mentioned off top but those are some of my favorites i can just think of off the top of my head but appreciate all the love and support Roll to 20k let's check this video out women's finishers these moves will not be on this list okay but will come later or perhaps not <laughs> you just keeping it hunted bro kicks is actually not a bad finisher either no f5 f5 is a really good one too that one is nasty He's got it, Joey. Oh, wait a minute. speaking of the gts Woo! GTS is a good finisher. Mm. Batista Bond wasn't bad. Oh, Jesus. Bro, that's a lot of force. Styles Clash. You got to put the Style Clash in there. That's... You got to put the style class on there. Styles hit it. Styles hit the Styles Clash. In a position for the Styles Clash. You got to put the Styles Clash on there. Goldberg, look at the jackhammer. You know what? Even though Spear, I take that back. Even though Goldberg Spear wasn't really, it was like a setup. For his finisher, I know other wrestlers use the spear as a finisher. His jackhammer, not bad when he was actually able to hit it. That yeah, the jackhammer was pretty it was it was pretty impressive. It was more showy than anything, but it was still impressive. Bro, this is ridiculous. Five hundred pounds, bro. Cold break is nice. Cold break is nice. I'm a shattered Rollins. The Scorpion Dev's drop is nice too. He still should have won that. He still should have won that match. Oh no, but could see it. Six one nine is classic. If you grew up on wrestling like me, just seeing that when I was young, I always thought that move was so dope to me. So yeah, six one nine is definitely a classic one. Just nostalgia. Twist of fate. Boom. It's like a variation of a cutter. Well, I've actually checked out one of his videos uh, on who has the best cutter. So. Yeah, it's cool. It's serviceable. Looking for retribution. Yes, indeed he is. I mean, this finishes, eh? It's it's. Skull crushing finale. Miss has eliminated. 
It's it's all right. Now this the pop up power bomb, yo, it's so nice, bro. It's so nice and effective. Boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, that pop up power. I remember when they used to call it the STFU, the shut the fuck up. Back when wrestling was a little bit more edgier, and then they switched it to the attitude adjustment. I was like, I was like, what the the, the attitude adjustment? I, or am I wrong? I, I believe it used to be called the STFU. Correct me if I'm wrong. You guys are great at doing that. Appreciate that. But I think it was called the STFU. And then they, they switched it to the attitude adjustment. You know, PG reasons and stuff like that. So John Cena returns fire on it's, it's basically a fireman's John carry. Yeah, it. It's not the best. Trouble in Paradise is nice. <laughs> his his trouble in paradise is boom. No, that actually looked like it hurt. Yo, we gotta go back to that. Look at this, the way he got hit. Oh my god. In the days. I like his end of days. His that end of days move is nice. I like his end of days. Of course, bro kick. You gotta put that in up. Bro kick is just very powerful, very effective. Oh no! God damn! Booker T is Booker T is just so that's my big homie. Zigzag's pretty cool too. Yeah, Zigzag's pretty cool. Not a bad finisher. Like he gets a lot of height and extension on it. It's not a bad finisher. Kill switch. Kill switch engaged. Oh, he sold that. He sold that kill switch. Kill switch engaged. Kill switch. Yes, sir. Not bad one. Not bad one. Potential stop. Black mass. Whoop. All right. Whoop. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, he is out of here. Black mass is legit. Oh, my God, bro. That is. That's a nice finisher, too. Bro, this is one of the greatest F5s. My man's did like damn near two rotations in the air like he was throwing them like pizza dough. F5 is just, oh, bro, just, he's literally just throwing you off his shoulders. Like, get off of me, bro. This is ridiculously strong. Bro, just the, the strength alone. Oh, my God. Yep, like I said earlier, the running knee. That is actually a fantastic match. Daniel Bryan was a heel at this time. They were going against each other at Survivor Series. He was a heel, and he was getting cheers because people thought he was going to actually win. I actually thought they were going to put Daniel Bryan over. That shit was a fantastic match. They killed it in the ring, bro. Bruh, it gives me goosebumps just seeing how over he was. <laughs> this is just nostalgia. The leg drop. It's just, that's that's how old school wrestling was. <laughs> Rock sold that leg drop. <laughs> Angle slam is not bad, too. <laughs> Yeah, that angle slam is not bad either. 
Oh, yo, Jesus. Jesus. Abio's okay. The sister Abio's, it's okay. It just depends on how he hits it. Yeah, that was like, like there. That that was that was pretty intense. This is pretty good too. The bitter end. Oof. Oh. Yeah, I, I like how he's able to transition it. Yeah, I said Tombstone Pile Driver because he you he does use it as a finisher, but he also uses he's also used the last ride as a finisher as well. He got a lot of extension on that. Look at this on <laughs> his, his spine. The Huluva kick is nice too. Sami Zayn definitely should have been pushed better. Comment down below if y'all think Sami Zayn was definitely not utilized like he should have been on the main roster. I remember that. That feud should have been much better than what it was. It made sense because it's like Seth had became a face at that time. And then it's like he got his revenge. Like you screwed me over, I'm gonna screw you over. It was it was good. He needed to turn heel. Oh, the muscle buster. I think that's the move that uh, injured Tyson Kidd, if I'm not mistaken. Comment down below and let me know. I think that was the move that accidentally uh, injured Tyson Kidd. That one's really just more of a, a power flex to see how strong he is. Eh. Eh, it's, it's just like... It's really just one of it's just a big ass punch from a big ass guy. Like it's it's still funny. I just that's why it's like, eh, it's like, I guess. Like it's believable, but it's like eh, in wrestling terms, flashiness. For me it's like, eh. But Otonga, oh, he look at this. Mark Henry. Oh, oh my god. Jesus. It only gets worse. Running, power, and I never really too much care for Braun Strowman's finisher. It's just like, it's just some running powers on us. Literally what it is. Oh, yeah, you gotta put the people's elbow in there. <laughs> the, the slide. The slide in the dress shoes. I like his uh, rock bottom better. Oh, of course. The ultimate warrior with the ultimate splash. This is old school wrestling right there. The warrior now. Stepping over from the other side. The outside just tripped Finn Balor. Curb stomp is nice. Curb stomp is nice. The curb stomp is nice. I like the curb stomp. When he started. Yeah, I, I like the curb stomp. It's a believable finisher. Oh, jeez. This is it. Looking for a slice, Brett Kendrick. Countered. I like that. Hey, God damn. I like that move. Oh, shout out to Booker T. Booker T, man, with the scissors kick. I like the scissors kick too. Shout out to Booker T, man. Here comes the action. No, nah, that that that's Salida del Sol. That's ridiculous. That's a ridiculous ass finish. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That's yo, you can't go wrong with a finish like that. Bro, it's such a 
dope finish. Oh, oh wait a minute. Ken, uh, the Kinshasa is nice too. Oh, Jesus. First the mind games. Here we go. Triple H pedigree is it's a classic one. It's classic. You gotta put that up there as top tier finisher. That was good for you too. Evolution versus um the shield. Last shot is nice too. That shot's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. It, it really just shows his strength. Bro, that's a lot of strength. I don't think people understand. That's a lot of strength, bro. To be able to grab somebody like that. Can't go wrong with a classic. <laughs> Jesus. Can't go wrong with a classic. Classic choke slam. Ooh. Project Chomp is nice too. Project Chomp is nice too. That was a fantastic match and a fantastic feud. Oh my God. Yeah, that's why I said rock bottom. That's that's always going to be the, the, the go-to for me from the rock. You know the Stone Cold Stunner going to be in, his, in this comp. In this comp. It got to. Oh, and of course, Sweet Chain Music. I just did a video on that. Oh. <laughs> classic, classic match. Classic, man. Oh, a young edge. A young edge. Roman Reigns. <laughs> no way. Diamond Cutter. Yep, I check. I checked out a Diamond Cutter compilation as well. Well, it was like who has the, you had the best variation of it. DDP's Diamond Cutter is nice. Bop. The Claymore kick is nice too. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh my god jesus yeah gore's uh vinyl's gore was nice too no cap oh my god title match Oh, nah, close, JBL's clothesline from hell wasn't wasn't bad either. Not gonna lie, he just had a. Geez. Is it what is a finisher compilation without the Stone Cold Stunner, bro? It's still easily one of the best of all time, bro. And there's no one better to sell it than. <laughs> And then of course RKO, you gotta put that up in there. <laughs> there we go. All right, he's out of there. Classic one. This is a classic one right here. You oh my Again going for a tombstone. Yeah, the tombstone is is to me is the better of the finishers between the Undertaker. Undertaker Oh man. In the threes. Classic right there, man. This this brought back plenty of memories, man, and and I like that he incorporated some of the the newer newer wrestlers. So I guess like I was saying at the beginning of the video, of course the ones he had in there, he definitely I knew he would have to have. What is your favorite 
finisher like who had y'all favorite finisher from the era of wrestling go from the attitude era the ruthless aggression era and then the uh i guess you want to call it the pg era that we're in right now comment down below which one who had the the best finisher of each era and i want to get your guys opinion appreciate all the love and support road to 20k you already know appreciate you kicking with me see y'all on the next one peace